ここから先は立ち入り禁止です。入らないでください。落ち着いてゆっくりとこちらに避難してください。んおい、ちょっとあんた。Looks like I shook them off. Can't go back that way, though. Huh? Hey, you over there! No time to get hauled in by the cops. I have to get away somehow. And I gotta. Hey! Get to the pink destination on the mini-map before the police catch you. Here is the full route. Careful, the streets are riddled with police officers displayed as pink icons. These officers will join the chase as you run by them, so keep on guard. Give me one second here. Okay. Boy, another message.
am suddenly busy. Gosh darn it. Okay, I'm all caught up on everything now. Good. Let's escape the police. You can look behind you with either LB or RB. You all are in the way! I got caught! Off of me! I don't know how I'm- ah! That's- I don't know why I panic jumped. There's cops everywhere, what the hell? Ah! I couldn't jump over that? I tried. This is bad. I tried! I don't know what I'm gonna do about this. You all need to get out of the way. Oh boy, this is gonna be crazy. Gosh darn. Hey there, familiar face. Hey,だって。事件ある<笑> on, I've got a little bar I like not too far from here. We'll be safe there. Stay close though. Doubt the cops are gonna just disperse now that they've lost track of you. Right. And if they stop us, though, I should be able to talk my way out of it. Just try not to do anything too suspicious near an officer, okay? I'll try. I have blood on me still, though. Like, that's not suspicious.
I'm waiting for you to move, man. How far away is this bar of yours? Kiryu. This is the place, Kiryu. Wait. What, you surprised? Just wait until you see the inside. And now I have another message. Okay. Oh, mama. Now's really not the time. Date san, koko wa? Ah, mukashi omae ga yoku tsukatte ita serena da. Ima atarashii mama ni kaitorarete sama gaari shita kedo na. Date san, itsumo no yatsu de ii? Ah, a ato de wakazo mo kuru. Yatsu no bun mo tanomu wa. Hai. Zuibun wakai mama da na. Ah. でも東京とキリオはそんじゃそこらのババアよりもすげえ。誰がババアですって？はい。ふん。聞かれてたか。ママ、ちょっとこいつに話があるんだ。外しておいてもらえるか。はいはい。ごゆっくり。ここは俺らがいつも使ってる店だ。盗聴も盗撮もされてね、安心しな。ああ。しかし伊達さん、どうして俺があの場所にいると。和樹から聞いた。お前さんのことだからまた事件に巻き込まれてんじゃねえかと思ってな。うん、<笑>お来たか。ブツは。もうブツってそんな物騒な白物じゃないでしょう。<笑>はいどうぞ。こんな強いの無理。ママ、俺のこと殺す気？それより水。はいはい。お。よしよし、でかしたぞ。偉そうに言わないでください。デスクを雑用に使う新人がどこにいますか。もう一つかやばいんだから。それは。ああ。お前に見せておく必要があると思ってな。登場会の現幹部たちの写真だ。どうしてこれを？<笑>実は私こういうものでして。伊達さんが新聞記者。ああ。キリュウ。お前が巻き込まれている事件、実は今俺が追っかけてる山と繋がってる。山？東上会、そして政治家鈴木義信に絡む沖縄リゾート開発。こっから先は危険な旅だ。お前さんには敵をよーく知っといてもらう必要がある。少し時間をもらうぜ。Where do we want to start? I think my gut tells me that he's gonna be the problem. Um.
second here, fellas. Okay. <laughs> Look for you, Chucky Hakokai Kaicho, Mine Yoshitaka Tiza. Mine Yoshitaka. Ah, got to go choosing to start off his guy in Yasna. Tony Kagwaka, the Kanyamotor. Kokyu Gaisha Norimash, it can sort of say in Jitsugo got the Hubodana. Stesen ya insider or Scatano Kabutor Hikito. 不動産売買で巨万の富を得たまあ言ってみりゃインテリ極道の代表格的な男だなるほど今登場界の金はこいつで回っていると言っても過言じゃない年間かなりの金がこいつから登場界に流れてる特に三代目錦山組の神田あたりはかなり峰から回してもらってるって話だどうしてこの男が神田にこの峰という男数年前までは新興ベンチャーの立ち上げなんかをやってた普通の会社員だったそれをこっちの世界に誘ったのが無償上がりの神田だったらしい。ミネは神田の仲介を得て、堂島大吾との杯を交わし、登場会へ来たみたいだ。それじゃあ、神田とつながっている可能性もあるのか。ええ、ミネは六代目の信奉者だ。最近じゃあ自分の組の力もあって、神田の後ろ盾も必要ない。神田のことを煙たがってるだろう。Give me a moment here. Okay, there we go. So we'll go ahead and learn about him. Skinhead or not, go. Quits got Sunday, many Shikiamagumi Kumicho, Kanda. Nishikiamagumika. Ah, oh, my son, then my Tatagata, Ano Nishikiamagumi no told I got quits that. Whatever you mama, they're at the Koda Naga. No, Brimoneza. Quits on Yenem, my mother, go can the Musha and Puchkona. I don't like him at all. Naga dice kit you, ten K taking a gay day. 錦山が組長をしていた頃は鉄砲玉にもならないほどのチンピラだったらしいどうしてそんな奴が組長に無所から出て以来こいつはカムロ町を中心に勢力を拡大していった徹底的な暴力を受けた so he's a brute force he's not the brains he probably didn't have anything to do this 構想の後だ警察も登場会との距離を取りたがっていた時期にこいつは感激を縫うように島を拡大恩恵派の二代目風間組の島をどんどん奪い急成長していったこの男の目的はズバリ登場会の後目だろう。てめえが欲しいものは何があったのか。そう、we're gonna have to fight him, period. 
You think I'd enjoy the water bending right now? Uh, the, the face cam, I have a new desk, and so all I'd record is basically my nose up. So I have ditched the webcam, plus it kind of broke. The padding on the back uh, came off. Which means it'd scratch up my uh, monitor, which I am not going to do. Yeah. You think I'd enjoy the water bending specifically? Isn't there all other types of bending too? あの、So why do you think I like the water bending specifically? ミツユのI see. Yeah, I'd probably like the water bending. If I had to wager a guess. That also sounds nice. But not that important. I still think it's Mine. Uh, isn't air bending more meant for the traversal, by the way? That's what I thought I read, was that I was going to traversal. The chains? I don't know what the chains are. これ一体どういうことだ it sounds like I just replaced the assault rifle with water bending and then use air bending for a traversal. Yeah. I'm still convinced it's Mine here. You think he. Well, I guess that was a brute force move. I don't think he did it, though. We settled. I'll dig around for anything on the man in the sketch. You get after Kanda. Right. Rumor has it, Kanda gets his boys to haul a girl up to his hotel room every night. If anyone's gonna know where to find him, it's them. Mama, you mind if we use your bar as a sort of base of operations? Hmm? Don't worry, we won't disrupt your business or anything. Just stick us in the back room and forget we even exist. Well, Mama... I guess you are one of my best customers. Oh, what the heck? Go yeah, yeah. ahead. Appreciate it, Mama. Just stay out of my customer's hair, okay? Of course, of course. Sorry about this, Mama. Oh, it's nothing. This is the least I can do with how often Date-san frequents my bar. It's rare you don't see him in here, a glass of whiskey Ooh. in hand. Mm. <laughs> Besides, Kiri-san, you're kind of my type. You're what? Do I hear a tinge of jealousy in your voice, Date-san? No. Don't be ridiculous! <laughs> Aw, you're blushing! Kiryu, can you please go find Kanda already? 
Don't let them bully you while I'm gone. Um, I was betting does more damage than water, but fire slower and only has five shots before we charge. Also raises cover. Interesting. Maybe I'll just end up firebending easily the weakest. It's only good at close range. Uh, you know, maybe I'll just become the avatar if we play some Fortnite and just use all four bending elements there. Um, furthermore, your health will cover while at the hideout. It sounds like you could easily do that, especially because my shotgun aim hasn't been that effective. It worked. <laughs> Uh, there's more scenes or just is that just how it loads well that's weird I still don't know what I need to do to increase Haruka's trust but it's whatever you made it second solos with eight kills. That's not bad. Used. That sounds like what I'd probably end up doing is earth, air, water, and then some form of heals. Probably a heal and a shield. Musmus. Sorry, Rikia. Rikia. Sumanai koto shita na. Dou shita?沖縄で何かあったのか。いや、そうじゃないんですか。ん。じゃあどうしたんだ。今俺カブロ町にいるんですよ。何？どういうことだ？兄貴は俺を沖縄に残したかったんでしょうけど、俺やっぱり自分の
Oh wait, my bad. Ow, I tried to hit him with them. I missed. Oh, he kicked off that. I'm sorry. The truth is, I stepped on him myself. I just needed to take my rage out on someone. This ain't much, but here. A satisfying toughness Z. Thank you. Excuse me, folks. Let's see, what have we here? Oh, and that other challenge. Chose the wrong one. Exactly. So. Get out of there and find me a stand in for Kuda chan. But even if I do find someone, it's way too late. Then how the hell are we supposed to film this thing? Without our star, we're nothing! Uh, and what am I supposed to do about it? I feel terrible about all this. You gave me the starring role, and then I had to go and break my arm in the men's room. Hmm? Yeah, I imagine we can be. Oh. Hey, what about him? Oh, he's perfect! Something wrong? Mm. You wanna be in a movie, Hotshot? A movie? Why me? Uh, well, Kuda here was our lead, but he got injured during rehearsal, and without a lead, our hopes of completing the film are pretty much screwed. Hi there. The name's Noboro Kudarizaka. Or Kuda for short. Okay, I think I get the picture. Anyway, you've got ju uh, just the face and build we're looking for. In fact, I think you fit this role like a glove. So how about it? Being in a movie might not be so bad. Okay, okay, I'll do it. Hot damn, that just made my day. Give me a second. There we go. Uh, time to become rich. I don't know if I'm going to get rich off this. What kind of role is it? It's an over-the-top action scene, so basically, we need you to beat the crap out of some thugs and make it look pretty. I can do that. What's your name, anyway? I'm Kiryu. Alright then, Kiryu-chan. Let's get you right to the studio. Should be nice and easy. Look at you, Kiryu-chan. That's exactly the image we're going for. Must be some kind of samurai flick. Here's the script. You only have to worry about Tatsu's, the hero's lines. Memorize them as best you can. Okay. Uh, we're gonna shift tab and get some notes set up. Thank you, Steam, for notes mode. So. I've... Come to avenge my father. Okay. Tatsu takes out Yamashiro's thugs in this order. Hainai, short hair, goes down first. And Tatsu smashes him head on, once fired up. Uh, Tatsu then wails on. Then wail, wail on. Long hair. Then sh shuts down bearded. And finally beats bald. There we go. Very impressive. Then 
fight me one on one like a real man. Tatsu confronts his father, Sessa, and first he unleashes a series of raging techniques. Use raging techniques to on henchmen. Grabbing, smashing one into a wall. First, smash one in to wall. Uh, then killing another with triple sword slash. Second, use triple sword slash. And finally, smashing a smash drama doll over last one's head. Yamashiro, a bunch of worthless dogs, supposed to deal with himself. Gosh darn, this is a lot to remember. No need to worry. I'll make quick work of you. Thank you, Steam Notes. Time has come to face Yamashiro, the sinister villain behind it all. While Tatsu unleashes an amazing array of text, defeating Yamashiro for good is a much harder bargain. Tatsu is beat to within an inch of his life. Beat final bad guy till health gauge is red. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Wait, hold up. This is the vil or this is the hero story. Get beat till red health bar. But win in the end. <laughs> uh. More dialogue. My loyalty can't be bought. Okay. Lots of notes. So short hair, long hair, bearded, bald. I have no idea. <laughs> Got the lines down yet? So, a lone warrior busts into the local authorities' compound to avenge his dead father. Looks like your typical samurai B movie. You bet. Feel free to ad lib if or ad lib if you can't remember it word for word, just as long as it works well. Saying the lines as written can sound wooden sometimes. Also, do your best with the action sequences. Performing them as written would be nice. But we'll still pay you either way. Got it. Let's get this thing rolling then. Uh, we're all set. All right, Kiryu-chan, give us a good show. What the hell do you want? Uh, I've come to avenge my father. You've got some nerve busting into here. So you want to see your precious father, huh? Oh, I'll send you to meet him. In hell. Short hair, long hair. That's not what I wanted. Well, that's not ideal. I took the bearded one out early. I pressed the wrong button. My bad. Not perfect, but oh well. Oh, very impressive. Let's do it, you fine man. Fight me one on one, like a real man. <laughs> ha! We can discuss that once you've defeated my finest assassin. Assassin, get out of here. This is the man who killed your father. And he's more skilled than you can imagine. So prepare to die. I need to... Uh... I need to throw somebody through one of the... Through the wall here.
Oh, oh. Know what I meant. Gosh darn, man. Oh, I messed that up. Gosh darn, chill. Okay. The next thing I need is... Ow. Ow. I'm not going to be able to build up enough defense here. I'm not going to be able to build up enough defense. Darn. Oh, well. This is not going to be perfect. Bunch of worthless dogs. Suppose I'll have to deal with you myself. I don't remember the thing. Notes. I'll make out quick with you. No need to worry. I'll make quick work of you. Uh -huh. Nonsense! You'll regret you ever crossed me while I'm... Er, bleh. You'll regret you ever crossed me when I'm through with you. Oh, I don't actually remember this next part in the script. Shit. Um... I need to get beat until my health is low. Oh! Oh! Oh no! I can't possibly win this! I'm getting my ass kicked! Oh no! Oh no! Ah. Oh no! He has a lot of health. Oh, wait, I might actually want to wail on him a little bit. I did not press the button at the right time. <laughs> That'd be funny. I have too much health for this. Ouch. Ouch. I missed the recovery period. I've been stunned. I'm being stun locked. Okay, this is about to be very cheesy. I can't let you beat on me anymore. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs>
Listen, work for me, and I'll make you rich beyond your wildest dreams. Sound good? Let's forget about this whole thing with your father, and think about what's best for tomorrow. I like that line more. Um, feel free to ad lib if you can't remember this stuff. Uh, keep your money. I want justice. I know that's not the line, but I'm using that one. That's so much better. Get him with the left cross, yep. So this is the legendary Tatsu of Kamoro. Damn, he leaves him alive. Okay, cut! That's a wrap, people. Or that's a wrap, people. Good job, everyone. Oh, Thank was you. I? Nice work, Kiryu-chan. Not the greatest action I've ever seen, but overall, we have a very impressive roll of film here. Uh, yeah, I've never really watched samurai films. Samurai films? Well, whatever. Anyway, I've got your payment waiting. Oh. <gasps> キリュウちゃんならみんな、みんなもそれがいいと思うだろ。<笑> なんなんだよ。全員揃って。すまんな。俺も映画には興味がない。これで失礼させてもらう。はい、お勤め心様。はい。ご出演お疲れ様でした。何なんだよ。一体。ランチのヤクザ Fifty thousand yen. I got a Sakura Storm as a bonus, and ten thousand experience. Ah, uh, what did I get? Oh, a blade. That's cool. Now oh, wait, I need to head this way. I did not play that out exactly, but. Not the best action scene. Oh, this again, huh? Oh, we're not. I'm not gonna throw him through the window this time. I am! Yes! Barely dodged that. There we go. Poor bicycle. I think the window's more poor there, but... Thank you for the freaking platinum nail that I'm tired of getting multiples of. I should probably upgrade some weapons. I don't really use weapons, though. So, what you smiling about, old man? Where you, or were you headed to the hostess club or something? Must be nice to have all that money. Actually, it makes me so- I've already read this one before. This is a recycled line. Oh well. Ow. Ow. Ow! <laughs> I 
<laughs> I don't think Kiryu would say that, but... Ah, oh, there's a wholesome 5,000 yen. This guy's gonna play the you can't hit me game again, huh? Hmm. So, who's the wise guy who managed to smack you in the chops? Leave it alone, Hanaki. He's not such a bad guy. You just don't get it, do you? Get schooled even once in our line of work and it's all over for you. I can't just let you soil our profession like that. Hanaki, if you could just chill. What's going on here? Oh, it's you! So this is the guy who clocked you, huh? He doesn't look like much. And you are? I'm his Hanaki. You know, his older brother figure. We got a real similar bit going on, see? So you're another Mr. Try and hit me? Ha! Huh, not quite. I'm in the running business, so they, ca er, so they call me Mr. Try and Flee Me. Mr. Try and Flee Me? Now I've heard everything. Damn straight! You haul ass and I come chasing after you. Ditch me successfully and I pay out the prize money. That's an interesting concept. Yeah, well, I'd trample you in a second if we were limited to this here parking lot, so I expanded the course to the entirety of Camarocho. Sounds simple enough. Don't underestimate me, chump. I won the 800 meter back in the hot, or back in high school. That means I'm a certifiable racing man. Oh, and it'll cost you 5,000 yen up front. Now run me till the timer's up, and I'll pay you 70,000 yen in prize money. So how about it? Want to give it a go? All I have to do is ditch him for 70,000 yen. Not a bad deal. Alright, I'll take your challenge. That's what I like to hear. Now hand over that 5,000 and get ready to run. Here you go. Okay, looks like it's all here. Again, your job is to run around the city while keeping away from me. Do it, as long as, uh, do it long enough and I'll pay you that cool cash money. And no slacking off, because I'll catch you in a heartbeat. Probably, honestly. Uh, but not if the camera's gonna face that way. Run! Son of a bitch. I can't run. Oh, he's out already? Damn, that's it for me. Gosh darn, that was easy. Uh, uh, uh. Looks like I won. How in the hell did you outrun me? You must have done some crazy intensive training to pull that off. Well, here's your prize money. Sunday big ones. 70,000 yen by my count. It's all there. Guess I still got a ways to go, but I'll get you next time. And here I thought I messed up at the end there. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. I might a place that could upgrade my weapon. Maybe I should. Hold up. Yeah, I remember. Was seen on Park Boulevard. I'm heading down there right now. Do you think you could go there and take a look too? Sure, Park Boulevard. Yeah, I know. I ain't gonna be able to catch him. Where's Park Boulevard from here? Hold up. Okay. Park Boulevard it is. Ain't no way I'm catching him. Lucky you weren't chasing me. Would you chase Kiryu? <laughs> You'd definitely be harder than that dude was, but... I don't know about you, I wouldn't really chase Kiryu. There he is. Hey, Motoyama, right? What? Crap, they found me! You're not catching me! Hold it, Motoyama! Huh? Oh, he's just saying the same thing. 
Okay, whatever. As a game, yeah. Fair enough. Fucking hell! I... God damn! There we go! Yeah, chasing after him like that would be a death sentence. Ah! Ah, I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Ready to pay now? I'm taking you back to Shibayama. He escaped me once, he did not get me the second time. <sighs> I'm sorry! Uh... 800,000 yen? You used 200,000 in that amount- or in that short amount of time? Thank you, Kiryu-san! I can't believe you <laughs> caught him! Well then, here's 10% I promised, 80,000 yen. Moriyama, you're coming with me to my office. We need to talk to you about how you'll be paying back the rest of the money you owe. Yes, I'm sorry. This is all I got left. Kiryu-san, you're the legend I always heard you were. You inspired me to get better at collecting money, even from slippery bastards like Motoyama. Thank you, I learned a lot today. I wish I caught him on the first one. But it's fine, all things considered. I have another thing up here to do now. Okay, I'm far from where I intended to be. Excuse me, have you seen a white cat around here? A cat? Probably. Why? I'm so sorry to bother you, but I'm looking for my cat. She's white and her name is Lasagna. A white cat? No, I can't say I've seen a cat like that around here. Oh no, she's been missing since yesterday. Where did she run off to? I have a strange favor to ask of you, but if you happen to see Lasagna, do you think you could catch her for me? She's white with a black splotch on her back, uh, that looks like Italy. You'll know the moment you see her. You mean like the country? Sure thing. It sounds like that, dude. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't take Kiryu on, period. That's just like asking. T well, supposedly he doesn't kill that much, but I still wouldn't risk my chances. I'll give you a reward if you can bring her back to me. Please help me. I have no clue where to search for that black cat or that white cat, so I will just go about my business, and if I see it, I see it. Hey, bro, I'm extra bored right now. Too much time, no money, and nothing to do. How about you and me kill some time? I don't know why people decide to pick a fight with Kiryu like that. Darn, he survived that. Damn, that hurt. The hell is up with you, man? Look, I'm sorry. Just let me go, all right? A misshapen old magazine. Thank you for giving that to me. I've always wanted one. No sarcasm there. Oh boy. He, I've already read this sentence before. Okay, buddy. I missed my grab. Really? I'm struggling. I'm really struggling. Why can't I do what I wanted there? I thought I had a move. I guess I don't have it. Oh well. There we go! That was the move I wanted to do. 
I did not. I'm struggling. Well, depending on what type of magazine it is. Gosh darn, I'm getting my butt kicked right now. Okay, buddy. Okay, okay. I got a fishy platinum nail. Which means that my inventory is getting pretty filled up. It's weathered and warped. What is this place? Uh, I could go to... We'll go ahead and eat from here. To recover some of our health. What would I like to order? Uh, we'll go with the beef curry. There we go. Now, nah, what's up with you? Hey, are you all right? Please, I need water. It feels like my intestines are on fire. I'm sure that's how it feels when you drink yourself into a stupor. He's probably, or he'll probably be just fine. But I suppose giving him water wouldn't hurt. I don't have anything I can give. I'll go buy some. Can I buy some from the vending machine here? There's a vending machine right here, and I cannot buy him water. Okay. Ah, that place should have water. Hey! Found the cat. Bingo, the elusive Italian cat. Lasagna, you're a kitty. That's not a happy cat. I'll need to distract her. I don't have anything. No, I don't want to give Jack. This won't work. She'll shred my arms to ribbons if I try to grab her. I... Can't... Wait, could I have given her the magazine? It's possible. But I think I know what I need to get. First of all, I need to buy some mineral water. Second, I need a catnip stick. Okay, one unhappy cat. Here, have a catnip stick. There we go. She's happily munching away. I should be able to grab her now. Let's bring her back over to the owner. I hope I don't have to walk all this distance back. That would suck. Lasagna! Thank you so much! How can I repay you? I, I'm afraid this is all I have, but please, take it with all my gratitude. Silly... Kitty, I told you not to go outside now, didn't I? Tisk tisk. I have to walk all the way back. Ah! That hurts. I'm gonna, like, put, like, this away, put this here, actually. There we go.
What's going to happen it? here? You look like a good guy. Lend me a hand. What's going on? My granny's coming up from the sticks. I kind of told her I was a company president here in Kamurocho, which is kind of not true. So I'm begging you, please pretend you work for me so I can keep up the lie. Why should I do that? Granny's getting frail and, and was in a bad place for a while there. I thought I'd cheer her up by telling her I was some big corporate hotshot. <laughs> I've been nothing but trouble since I was a little kid, so hearing I'd become an upstanding member of society thrilled her to no end. And she's out of the hospital and on her way here to see how I've been doing. But if she found out I was lying. I get where you're coming from, but you should be honest with her. <sighs> yeah, I know. But I think there are times where a lie is justified, necessary even. <laughs> so please, back me up on this for my granny's sake. Well, if you're that dead set on the idea, we'll make sure your lie is airtight. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm ready to take anything she throws at me. So what do you say? Okay, I suppose I'll take a supporting role in your performance of your lifetime. For your grandmother's sake, you understand? <laughs> oh, thank you so much! You don't know how much this will help me! Come over this way! Granny's waiting! <laughs> uh, I'd like to introduce you to somebody, Granny. This here is my employee, Mr. Kazuma Kiryu. I work for the president. Ah, my, Masi uh, Masahiko. I must certainly keep you busy. Masahiko. <laughs> hey, what's wrong with you, Kiryu-kun? Uh, Forget my first name, eh? <laughs> you could have told me. I'm Masahiko's grandmother, Shizu. You'll be giving me a tour of Kamarocho today, hmm? How exciting. Oh. But my goodness, don't businessmen wear ties these days? Actually... Uh... We, ch we try not... We try not to use our air conditioner. Ah, uh, yes! To conserve energy in summer! That's a popular idea nowadays, but in winter? Aren't you cold, dear? Uh, yes, even in winter. Our president is very ecologically minded. Ah. Come to think of it, even the Prime Minister goes without a tie now and again. It's so hard for me to imagine the boy running a company mm. headquarters in such a big, impressive city. <laughs> <laughs> I've been working hard here in Tokyo, Granny. <laughs> How about you show me around the office, then? I'd love to meet all of your employees. Well, about that, um, Kiryu-kun? Um... We'll say they have the day off today. They have the day off today. Oh, is that so? What a laid-back company you have there, Masahiko. <laughs> say, Granny, you must be hungry. Why don't we go to my favorite Yanahiku place? Yes, yes, why not? Go ahead and show me the way, sweetie. <laughs> I come here all the time. The food's out of this world. Huh, imagine running into you in a place like this. You got that hundred grand ready? Oh, uh, uh... What's going on? I borrowed 80 thou from the loan shark when I lost money on the horses the other day. Can't you just make something up so we'll leave us alone, please? <laughs> Come on, a hundred thousand including interest. Pay up now, or I'll just keep- or it'll just keep growing, pal. I'll we'll just pay it. Yeah. He is gonna have me pay it. We're in the middle of something here. Take this and leave us alone. <laughs> Let's see here. Yep. That makes a hundred thousand yen. All right. Thank you kindly. What's this? Are you borrowing money? You know that'll bring nothing but trouble. I know. I know. Your grandson's always scolding me about it, too. Or my bad. I know. Wrong. Wrong character, my bad. I know. I know. Your grandson is always scolding me about it, too. <laughs> <laughs> is everybody ready for some yakaniku? Eat up, Granny. It'll make you strong. <laughs> I never thought I'd live to see the day Masahiko treated me to a meal. <laughs> what are you talking about, Granny? This won't be the last time uh, uh, the grub will be on me. I'll go pay. You two wait here. She's gonna know, isn't she? Thanks so much for today. It was nice to see you play along with Masahiko's little white lie. 
freaking called it, huh? <laughs> oh, I know, all right. I know he was lying to me. By trying so dim. Or, oh, wait, my But he tried so darn hard to please me. It's hard for me to be mad at him. Sorry, guess I blew it. <laughs> Here, take the souvenir from my hometown. It's a small gesture of thanks from an old woman. Let's see what she said. This is yours, too. You covered Masahiko's debt, didn't you? Thank you for that. I've added a little for your trouble. Wow! Well, the bill's all paid. Shall we move to our next destination? Sir, I have some work to attend to. You and your grandmother will have to go on without me. Huh? But... You be uh, you be the best grandson you can be. Got it? <laughs> yes, sir! Granny looks pretty happy. I guess the occasional lie isn't always so bad after all. Can I... There's a lot of stuff I have to do. Give me a second. She might want to let her son know, though. I can't believe I got paid back for that. I just figured I don't spend money on anything in this game. I might as well cover the debt. And we'll be right by the locker, so we might as well hit him. Thank you for getting in my way, jerk. Ancient steel. A block of brass. I still have the knockoff handbag that I purchased. I don't know how that substory ends. Oh. I've already read this line of dialogue too. Bro looks like he's ready to- OW! OW! That's it. Yeah, that's right. Come on. I missed. Yeah, well, your Anaki is in here, so... Shouldn't have messed with me. What do we have here? Something at Stardust. Alright, Kazuka-san. I do hope you consider a second club. It's not gonna happen. My mind is made up about this. <laughs> no need to be so stubborn. I'll be back later. Oh, Kiryu-san, what's going on? Not much, but who was he? Has one of the families been paying you a visit? No, that was uh, Kyogoku-san. 
He's a businessman in charge of all th- kinds of host and hostess venues. And lately, he's been trying to get us to set up another branch of Stardust. A second club, huh? That would sure yeah. be something. Indeed. The Stardust name has really taken off, so he wants us to expand to another region. Where is he thinking that would be? Yokohama. He thinks it would be a good way to avoid the tight competition in Tokyo and plant some new root, uh, uh, roots. Eh. English. Kyogoku-san's group doesn't have a club with any star power in Yokohama. That's why he's offering me capital to really promote the Stardust name there. I see. But I have absolutely no desire for a second club. What I have here is more than enough. Okay. I don't know why he approached me like that, but... We have water for the other guy. What does that substory want us to do? If I can even find it. Oh, right. I need to go back to the taxi stand. Um. Can't do that yet, I don't think. Can't do that yet, I know. I guess I just have to run into her again. I don't necessarily know what I need to do for that. Maybe go back to the burger joint. Uh, he went over to the Millennium... Oh, I should head to the Millennium Tower then real quick too. Another Stardust. Doesn't say anything about it. Oh well. We'll figure some of this out. Yep. Give him some water. Here, have some mineral water. Here, drink this. <sighs> That's better. Thank you very much. You okay now? Oh. Yeah, I never drank that much alcohol before in my life. I thought I was gonna die. Man should know his limits. Oh. I suppose so. Sorry for the trouble. I had to take some clients out uh, on the town for a night, you see. I'm still my first year at the company, so I can't turn down a drink when our clients want to go another round. So you're a new recruit, huh? But still, even in your situation, you gotta know when to put your foot <sighs> down. You're right. Sometimes I end up doing stupid things, all because I don't know when to say no. Yeah. I see. I mean, this isn't how it was supposed to be. I initially joined the construction firm I'm in because I wanted to design sc skyscrapers and other complex architecture work. But all I ever do is entertain these two big contractors who want, uh, who want us to build the same old boring apartments over and over <sighs> again. Day in and day out. It's nothing but bars and hostess clubs with a bunch of drunk old men. I'm starting to feel like I'm not cut out for this. Mm. I'm gonna say this here. If you don't like it, just quit. Huh? But but I can't just give up and... Look at how miserable you are. Better quit while you're still young and find something mm. you enjoy. Maybe you're right. I am still young. In fact, I've already written up a letter oh. of resignation. I'm gonna slam it on my boss's table. Thanks for the advice, man. He then went on to become homeless. And was never seen again. Leave me alone. I need to go to the Millennium Tower. Ooh. That guy wants to fight me, but I'm not wanting to fight. Excuse me. Where is my ramen man? It's not one of you here. I don't care. Do not care. Howdy, officer. Oh, uh, you don't have anything for me. 
Is there nothing around here? This should be a bar. Pretty sure that's a bar. There should... Oh, I'm missing a little bit of health. I could probably go in and reclaim that. Is there any... Where the heck is he? Said he should be around the Millennium Tower. I guess I will worry about that at some other point. I'll take the taxi down to the south one. Thank you. Thank you, taxi. Bring me where I need to be. Is this not it? Was it down here? No, it was somewhere here. I think it was down here. Cause isn't there normally another taxi? Like here? No. Where the heck am I supposed to go? Woo! Go ahead and take that. Oh, is that him? Did I really just miss him? Yeah, that looks like him. Here you go, buddy. I wonder if he's coming. Hey. What? Something wrong? Er, something wrong? No, no, it's just that, uh... Well, it's about the lottery ticket. When I took it to get the money, they told me it was from a month ago. So it's an, er, so it's an old ticket, and I didn't win squat. They even confirmed it with the machine. But you know what? I actually feel a huge sense of relief. I was going a bit crazy when I thought I'd had all that money. Good thing I found out before I quit my job. Money makes me sick. I mean, I was acting like a raving lunatic. I imagine most people would go a little cuckoo if they thought they'd won that much. Sorry for putting you through all that drama. I can't even look at the money right now, so please take this. You sure about this? Positive. I'm gonna walk home tonight and cool off in the fresh night air. So long, buddy. And that should put me on enough to level. Yep. I was right. So the question is, I could do that. That would give me more health. Boost the speed of combos. That'll feel nice. That's gonna feel better. We'll bump technique. Counterattack executed after being knocked away. Used to get out tight situations. Okay. Ugh. There's another sub story to hit real quick. And I'm really hankering for sub stories. I literally didn't bump into you. You walked into me. What was that about? Freaking do that to- Oh, look at how his glasses are hanging. A dented 3,000 yen. How's my inventory looking? Kind of full. I have a sushi set now. Oh, 
I don't suppose there's a pun around here, right? There's drugs. March. Oh. Let me see if I can sell that purse. And confirm that it's a knockoff at this point. Because I already know it was a knockoff. In a safe. Uh, I'm sorry, but I couldn't help noticing that platinum bag of yours is a fake. What? I'm afraid we don't deal in knockoffs here. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Oh, sorry to bother you then. Yep, I already knew. Maybe I can go back and find that fake dealer and get my money back. That'd be ideal. And I can go ahead and put away some items. I don't really use healing items in this game. An imitation bag. I don't know what the point of that is, but... Hey, buddy. Boy. Hey, buddy. You're the one who bought that bag, aren't you? Oh yeah, I remember you. This bag, right? Yes, yes, that's the one. Oh, I'm so glad you still have it. As it happens, I had this bag of praise. Turns out it was a fake. What? Ah, uh, I can't believe this. Did I seriously sell you a fake? Sure, I'm sorry about that. How about I buy it back uh, for 70,000 yen? You know, by way of apology. 70,000 yen, huh? Sounds good to me. It's all yours. Uh, thanks much. Here you go. 70,000 yen. Well, better be going. Catch you later. What's that all about? Oh. No! Ain't gonna be no one in this town who doesn't know me. Like hell, you can just walk by a Yakuza like me without showing respect. Ooh. Ow, ow. Holy shit, you're strong. Wait, aren't you a former Yakuza? I'm sorry, sir. Forgive me, sir. Please, take this as an apology. He's the one to buy that back so bad. I probably should have refused it. Because honestly, he probably had something there that he needed. Will you leave me alone, man? No, I don't. Okay, buddy. My bad. Here, soaked stamina next. Thank you. Nothing specific here. I want to order anything. Oh. 
Oh, I'm about to get pickpocketed, aren't I? Oops, sorry about that. You okay? Yes, huh? My wallet's gone. Hey, you stole it, didn't you? Huh? Don't play dumb with me. I know you took my wallet. Empty your pockets right now or I'll call the cops. What? What would I need to do that? Hey, I said empty your pockets. I didn't steal your wallet, lady. Show me what you've got then. If you didn't steal it, then you should have nothing to hide. She snuck the wallet in here? I knew it! That's my wallet, isn't it? Is it? Not sure why I have it, but I certainly didn't steal it from you. Liar! How else would it have ended up in your pockets? Thief! Somebody help! Now hold on a second. Yeah. What's wrong, Mariko? This guy bothering you? Oh, Taru! Thank goodness- or Toru! Thank goodness you're here! This guy stole my wallet! Oh yeah? He looks like a thug, all right. Well, let's not start a ride in public. Why don't we settle this over there, old man? Now then, hand over Mariko's wallet. Take it. Like I said, I didn't steal it. Looks like everything's still in order. It looks like everything's still in order. I'm not missing any cards or cash. Okay, then here's how we're gonna do this. You're obviously a crook, and I'll bet the cops would give you hell if we called them. Pickpocketing's no small offense, plus we caught you red-handed, and we've got witnesses to back us up. But seeing as you didn't want to disturb the peace any more than we already have, I'm willing to let you off easy. Marco got her wallet back, and that's what matters. No need to involve police and complicate things, right? So here's how this is going to play out. You pay up, let's say, a hundred thousand, and we pretend this never happened, got it? You want me to pay you a hundred thousand yen? I'm not giving you that much money for a wallet I didn't steal. What? Your head too far up your ass to hear what I'm saying? If you like the view so much, maybe I should shove your head up there so far it'd take a crowbar to pry it out. Or you can pay me and keep your head intact. <laughs> Yeah, whatever, scam artist. Oh, I missed my thing. That's on me. How about you admit you were trying to scam me? Yeah, alright. I'm sure you figured it out already. Mariko plants her wallet in somebody's bag or whatever, makes a big deal out of getting robbed and, and convinces them to settle things with a payment. They don't pay up. We come and set them straight. A lot of people panic when they find out they have somebody who will swallow it. It's easy to make them pay a settlement when they're all worked up. How did, uh, how did you get away with this lame scam for so long? Worked fine until you showed up. Let's just go, Toru. This trick isn't going to work anymore now that we've been caught. Maybe we can just find real jobs? I'm so afraid that one day we're going to try to scam someone dangerous who doesn't fall for it. You should listen to her. Trying to pull this crap like this in Kamurocho is a good way to get yourself killed. Quit now while you're bleeding out in a- or qu quit now before you're bleeding out in an alleyway. Don't lecture me on my own trade, ma old man. I don't care if you want to ruin your own life. But it's not right to drag your girlfriend down with you. I'm giving you a lecture for her sake, not your, not for yours. Look at how scared she is. Can you tell that she doesn't want anything to do with these schemes anymore? Huh? Is that true, Mariko? It's just... The longer you keep this up, the more danger she'll be in. The money isn't worth her life. Maybe you're right. Guess I've got some thinking to do. Let's get out of here, Mariko.
Excuse me. Okay. If you want to get beat, that's on you. There we go. Multi-purpose thumbtack. Thank you, buddy. I wanted that so bad. I guess I hit the bar real quick and get a, a drink to heal up. There's darts here. Kiryu-san, you're back in Kamurocho. Yeah, I've got some business to take care of. Oh, I see. So what can I get you? We'll get the McCall in 30 years. McCollin has a brand new product called Fine Oak, which is a blend of whiskeys aged in bourbon and sherry barrels. But this one here has been aged entirely in sherry barrels using the traditional McCollin method. The 30-year aging process produces a rich sherry note and a deep sweetness like ripe fruit. There's none of the woody taste of overaging. This one's incredibly smooth and has a freshness you wouldn't expect from a 30-year-old whiskey. Maybe pricey, but one sip and you'll know it's well worth it. Can I get you another drink? Sure, I need more healing anyways. The Hibiki 30 years. Hibiki 30 years old is one of the best whiskeys in Japan. No, that of the whole world. 32 years spent mellowing in the Yamazaki white oak barrel gives it a robust taste. But don't take my word for it. Take a look at the numerous international awards it has won. Only about 2,000 bottles are made each year, making it especially rare. If you really like whiskey, this is a, or this is the bottle you have to experience. Dear you, son, I think you've had too much drink. I'd stop now if I were you. It's fine. Just give me a little bit of experience and health back. Oh boy. Look like you're having fun, old man. Feeling a little drunk, huh? Could use a drink myself. You want to cover my tab? I won't take no for an answer. Did not hit the other guy like I intended. Ow. Are you even drunk, man? Oh, our tab. No, don't worry about that. Really, it's fine. Just leave us alone. If I give you this, will you go away? Thank you. Damn it! Some guy just ran out on his bill. What happened? He just fucking left! That stupid dine and dasher just. Oh, he's right there! Catch the da uh, dine and dasher! He ordered 15 plates of grade A Colby! And he's damn well gonna pay for it! Dine and dasher, eh? All right, I just need to catch him, right? You'll do it? <laughs> Thanks, I knew you'd help me. I want you to drag that criminal back here, by the neck if you have to. Don't mind me, I'm just a little drunk. I whiffed.
kind of. What the heck is he doing? Damn. Don't dine and dash near Kiryu. Oh, oh, how do you catch me? You're the dine and dasher, right? You're coming with me. Fifteen plates of grade A kalbi. That'll be 40,500 yen. Now pay up! <clears throat> Man, okay, here. Huh? You had the cash all this time? Then... Why didn't you just pay up? You mean, why did I dine and dash? Well, for the most part, I did it for the thrill. What? Get the hell out of here! I better not see you in my shop ever again. I'm getting hungry from all that running. I had enough meat today, so... What else can I get away with this? Uh, I can't believe that guy. Thank you for so much for catching him. He must be exhausted. Try drinking this. The dine and dash is notorious around here. Hope he doesn't hit any other shops. Speaking of, he's gonna hit another shop. Thought I was here. Was I wrong? No, it is here. <laughs> What's wrong, Grandpa? You lost or something? Maybe we could, uh, show you the way back to the nursing home. For a small <laughs> fee, of course. Kamarocho ain't no place for an old guy to be walking alone. That's why you need guys like us around. For protection. No thanks! I should be f just fine on my own, actually. <laughs> What's the matter, Grandpa? Speak up! It ain't like we're trying to mug you or nothing. We're real upstanding youth, see? Hey, what do you think you're doing? Oh. Damn it! We gotta bounce. And I thought for sure we had that old dude in the bag, too. You okay? <sighs> I am. Thanks for that. They just wouldn't leave me alone. You still look worried. Is there yeah. something wrong? No. No. I'm just a little pooped. That's all. It's been quite some time since I had... Uh, since I was back in this town. In fact, it's been more than 60 years. Back in the post-war days, this is one big black market. Which reminds me. Something I'd like to ask you. Uh, would you happen to have heard of Supin Street somewhere around here? Supin Street? Uh, yeah. Got some business with a bar on Supin Street. Goes by the name of Jinsei. Thought I knew where it was. But damn it, this place hasn't changed in 60 years. Feel like a new, complete newcomer. Not to mention, I've been walking so much I can barely stand. Hate to ask, uh, take advantage of your kindness. But do you think you could find me that Jinsei place on Supin Street and let me know how to get there? I need to rest here a little longer. So I'm looking for Jinsei on Supin Street. Oh boy. I don't even know where Supin Street is. Supin Street. Okay. While I'm here... Special alloy wire. A black jet amulet. And 
A broken M1958, was that? Okay. I'm gonna guess I just beat people with it. Or I guess I shoot people with it. I thought it was broken. No. Kiryu's got a gun now. Who wants to mess with Kiryu with a gun? Sippin' Street should be here. Oh. There's Sippin'. Ooh, hold up. Excuse me, do you know if there's a bar called Jinsei somewhere oh. around here? Jinsei? Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that place. It's right across from us. It was torn down ages ago. There's another building here now. I see. Well, do you know if it moved somewhere else or did it just close down mm. for good? Good question. There was back when all this land speculation stuff was going on. Uh, rumor had it they needed a tidy sum to keep the land sharks at bay. I ain't talking mutant fish. Oh, that's right. Now I remember. I already got moved over to the Champion District. Yeah, that sounds about right. The Champion District it is then. Thanks, you've been a big help. Champions all the way here. Oh boy. You think I was gonna eat this pathetic excuse for pasta? Shit looks like a bunch of freed, dried puke. No, my precious ramen! And hey, isn't pasta, and it isn't freeze dried, it's flash fried. Right. Yeah, well, it makes me wanna blow chunks. Now get lost before I flash fry your face. Isn't that the instant ramen guy? Yuda from Ace Cook, I believe. Hey, what's going on here? All I wanted was for them to try my ramen as a part of my taste test survey. But for whatever reason, they just started going bananas. The city's too dangerous for that kind of thing. Why not try your taste test in a safer area? No, it has to be here. It's pointless to ask people who have never ex uh, been exposed to the delectable goodness of Kyosho number one star. I need the most accurate opinions. Hmm, I guess you do have a point there. Well, you heard the man. He's just trying to get some accurate feedback for his business. Can't you give him a pass just this once? Huh? Who the hell are you supposed to be, a supervisor? And you want us to give him a pass, huh? Well, how about a one-way ticket on the Eat Shit Express? Let's get him! Okay. Seems simple enough. That works. <laughs> Ow, oh, please, sir. If you have any shred of kindness left in you, don't go breaking any more of my bones. I'm already broken as a person enough. Hey, are you hurt? Wait a minute, that's it. What is it? The thing. I'm talking about the preparation for the ultimate instant ramen. If I break up the pork bone into tiny pieces, the extract from the marrow should spread throughout the broth, making it savory and delicious. Oh, uh, what does that have to do with nearly being assaulted? Well, while you were so adeptly shattering the bones and breaking the joints of those hooligans, I was taking it all in, and then the answer hit me like a ton of bricks. The secret to making ramen is by breaking up the bones. <laughs> I can't believe how simple that was. Simple for you, maybe. Man, this is the epiphany of a lifetime. I'd better get back to the office and whip up new samples before the fire gets cold, creatively speaking. 
Okay. We just need to head to the champion district. Or I guess I need to let him know. I don't know which comes first, but I'm already here. Turns out Jinsei on Supin Street. Well, it's gone. What? Are you serious? Looks like they sold it off once the real estate market started going crazy. So you don't know where it went? Do you have any idea how one would go about finding it then? Well, I heard it moved all the way to the Champion District, but I can't say for sure. I see, so it's the Champion District, most likely. That's a good start. Now, if you do happen to spot Jinsei out there, would you mind giving this old man a holler? Think I can manage that. Thank you kindly. If you don't mind, I think I ought to rest my weary bones a bit longer. I've changed his voice. That wasn't intentional. Can I cross here? Nope. Don't feel like fighting everybody. The regular fights are getting a little bit too easy. While I'm here... No! Okay, buddy. Thank you for the dumb multi-purpose thumbtack. I should see what weapons he sells. Buy equipment and designs. I'll take the work. I don't know how much damage these do. That's not as nice. I don't have the materials. Each of these. And let's see if we can mod any weapons now. I could turn those into carbon. Interesting. But I don't have the battery. That I'm missing a rainbow alloy, but this I could make. Let's turn those into carbon nunchucks. What else can they do? Can you mod them further? Doesn't seem like it. Mother. Mm. 
And we will go ahead and do... I guess I will... There. And I'll put everything else away. Went to the champion district. I also need to check the sub story. Um. So I need to drop by the ramen place, which is right here. Good. They're all one. They're all close enough by each other that I'm not worried about it. Probably get attacked by somebody else still, but that's fine. Ooh. Wait, what's this? Hold up. Oh. The Earth Angel. That's not helpful. Oi. I told you, give me back the cash. Uh, All you got left of value is that house of yours. Uh, of in that house of yours is that fancy Buddhist altar. So you best be saying your prayers. We don't take that so too. Why, you snot-nosed punk? Huh? If I'm a snot-nosed punk, what does that make you, borrowing money from one? A stuffy old geezer, that's what! Yeah, we can't allow that type of disrespect here. Hey, leave that man alone. Who the hell are you? This ain't none of your goddamn business. As soon as I see someone hitting on an old man, then it becomes my business. So back off. How about I back my fist up into that stupid-looking face of yours instead? You, you'll pay for this. Pshaw, sure, you should have minded your own business. I'm supposed to be looking for Jin- or I'm supposed to be looking for Jinsei. Say, you wouldn't happen to have had a place on Supin Street once upon a time? Yep, sure did. Why do you ask? Someone's been looking for you. Probably some debt collector wanting to shake me down. Dumb to leave me alone. On the bar, for what it's worth. Guess I should go tell the old man in front of the Millennium Tower. I wonder. I haven't been back here yet, have I? Mm. Who are you? Aw, oh, you look like a promising subject. Come on, uh, come on then. I'll take your 100,000 yen now. Not giving you money for no reason. What exactly, exactly am I paying 100,000 yen for? Experience, my friend. An experience you could go your entire life without having otherwise. You look like the type that could handle it. But it's a battle you'll never be able to win without sufficient mental toughness. If you're confident in your strength, I'll take your 100,000 yen now. Sure. Congratulations, you're my first co customer since I've arrived here. But I don't think too much about that. What's your name? Kiryu. Kiryu-kun, huh? My name is Minamita. Uh, it wasn't so long ago that people from all over the world knew the name Dr. Minamita. Never heard of you, sorry. You haven't? Well, never mind. Shall we get started? This isn't the ex or this isn't the experience you were talking about, is it? No, I've never seen these men in my life before. Hey, old man, we hear you're trying to sell something here. You know this, uh, whose territory this is? You're selling something pretty expensive from what we hear. What is it anyways? I'm afraid that's a trade secret. I can't tell you unless you pay first. Yeah, right. We're here to smash that trade secret of yours to pieces. Unless you want to start paying us protection money, yeah. that is. Pay? With what? I have nothing but what you see right here. 
But I'm gonna make some money soon. Well, hopefully, if things work out, I'll be more than happy to pay you. Huh? What the hell are you going on about? We'll teach you not to bring bullshit like that in our territory. Whose territory is this? If you know it's good for you, you won't be sticking your nose where it doesn't belong. I don't plan to. I'm just asking whose territory it is. What's it to you, huh? Fine, whatever. This is the territory of Shira uh, Shiragi family, a subsidiary of the Tojo clan. Everyone knows us around here. What, too scared to talk now? Never heard of that family. You watch it, old man. We've been pretty nice up till now, but you're pushing it. I don't remember the names of families that use violence to terrorize innocent people. Anyway, the man promised me an experience I've never, like I've never had, but this isn't it. What the hell are you two yapping about? I've had enough of this. Let's kick both their asses. Hey, you can't do that to us. You have any idea what kind of trouble you got yourself into? That's a question I should be asking you. I don't have any patience for idiots who don't even know their own organization. Uh, what are you? An executive of Tojo Clan or something? Um, never mind. No need to answer that. We'll just disappear. It'll be like we were never here. Just let us go, please. Get moving. I suppose I should thank you. No need. That kind of thing happens to me a lot, actually. Now, what's this experience you were talking about? Ah, yes. I said my name was Minamita. In the world of video games, the name Dr. Minamita is reasonably famous. Guess it doesn't mean anything in the city, though. Till last month, I was running a small game development company. We developed the smash hit YF6, and their success was helping us grow. YF6? I've played that game. So what's this machine? My latest invention, Inner Fighter 7, the ultimate arcade machine. It's a prototype, the only one in existence. An arcade machine? Indeed, a game machine such as uh, a game machine such as you might find in an arcade. So this experience is a video game. <laughs> in so many words, yes. But this game is utterly unlike any game you've ever played. What's the different about or what's different about it? The machine allows players to play the game inside their very brains. Use the bleeding edge technology in special electromagnetic ways to make you feel like you're actually in the game fighting the enemies. What? If that were possible, it'd be the invention of the century. And not just the gaming world oh. either. Perceptive, perceptive. You're quite right about that. It is indeed a great invention, but not without its problems. What problems? It seems that the only people who have actually experienced physically fighting for their lives are able to conjure up suitable opponents. I tried testing it on high school students, but he ended up facing a 20 meter fire breathing dragon. The poor boy ran home crying. There's something, or, and there was someone else who accused me of using hypnosis to trick him. Like I would use such quackery. But regardless, I can't get anyone to recognize how amazing this is. So you couldn't sell it and went bankrupt? Mm. Well, that would be... Er, well, that was part of why we went bankrupt, but there was another reason as well. Mm. That's enough about me. I'm sure you're eager to give my invention a try, am I right? Okay, I'll try it. But on a daily basis, don't you? I'm sure you'll be able to generate a suitable opponent. I can't wait to see what happens. Now then, please sit down. Here we go. All right. There's still a lot I need to explain, but for now, why don't you just take a look for yourself? We have to enter your name on the entry screen. What was it you said your name was again? Kiryu. That's K-I-R-Y-U, correct? Got it. From what I can tell, a player's health in IF7 depends on what level their soul is, whatever that means. If your soul level isn't high enough, you won't be able to tell how much health your opponent has. You must ensure that you keep training your soul. Now, let us get this experiment underway.
Ow, ow. Fist weapons. Use weapons to touch your hands, such as brass knuckles. Learn by fighting Tamashiro in IF7. How was that? Truly an incredible experience, wasn't it? Yeah, I faced a man I fought before. Hey, did you enjoy yourself? Yeah, actually, I think I learned some new moves. I'd like to keep using your machine in the future, <laughs> if you don't mind. Oh, by all means, by all means. Next time you want to play... I'll only charge you 10,000 yen. I'm looking forward to seeing you again. From 100,000 to 10,000 yen. That's a pretty big discount. Simply put, you're the only one I've found who would could handle playing the game. If I make it cheaper, you'll want to play it again, right? Can't pass up this chance to finally test my invention. I see. I guess our interests overlap, then. I'll definitely be Mom, back. Diesel. Wonderful. I'll be waiting. Oh, just a moment. Tell me your email address, won't you? I'll contact you if there are any new developments. Sure. Gosh, darn it, I have to get closer. Huh. Yep, go ahead and let me play. I'm following phone, so I'll give them appropriate tiles. Which do you wish to fight? Lethal Warrior, okay. Might not be precisely seeing me remember though. Yes, I want to fight Lethal Warrior. Okay, let me fight. Ah, it's him again. I see. Oh my god. Breastplate, thank you. I could have read some of that out loud, but I didn't quite feel like it. Um, is that better than what I'm wearing? Six, five, eight. 
10, 12, 5. It's better against guns. I'm not hurt, am I? Good, that doesn't hurt me in real life. Well, how is it? I made sure the pork bone marrow was thoroughly sh uh, simmered into the broth this time. Mmm, I see. You know, for instant ramen, it's not half bad. I suppose I can see it working. You suppose? Yup. I can tell you put a lot of into this, and besides, the marrow thickens out the flavor, so... Yeah, I think it should be fine. But, that ain't the kind of response any self-respecting chef would want to hear. I need your honest-to-goodness opinion. It's still not worthy of Kyoshi number one star. Is it? Well, I would say you did a great job in bringing out the bone marrow flavor, but the signature tonkotsu taste we're known for here. Your version is a slight or a slight bit overbearing. If you can figure out how to tone that down just a notch, the ramen sh uh, should still have that strong kick to it, but in a way that's balanced by the texture the, of the bone marrow. So the flavor should be complementary. All right. Then I shall return with a superior sample. Just you wait. Hold on. Where are you running off to? To Kyoshu. I want to learn how to make the ultimate tonkatsu broth. So I'm going to the birthplace of tonkatsu ramen. I guarantee I'll be back with the perfect solution and it's going to knock your socks off. Just wait. Can you believe that, kid? It's like he never stands still. So he's already put together a new sample. He sure is dedicated. And he was talking about you, too. Said he saw some kind of vision thanks to how you fought. Wonder what that was. Maybe he'll add more heat this time around? we we'll just have to wait and see. Anyways, what'll you be having? Oh boy, his sub-story isn't over. His is lengthy. Okay. Actually, maybe I'll go ahead and heal real quick. It wouldn't hurt. You don't say much. Hey, what happened to the other guy here? Oh, that would be my son. I sent him off to Kyoshu to learn how to make ramen the old-fashioned way. I'm gonna mine the place while he's gone. So that's where he went. Kyoshu number one star is famous for its authentic tonkatsu soup. That's why I called Kyoshu number one star. You haven't eaten rum until you tried the rich, flavorful, uh, flavorful Kyoshu favorite. Uh, we'll just do a cheap one. I do to them. Say, I found Jinsei for you. It's still alive and well in the Champion District. Is that a fact? Would you mind taking me there if it's not too much trouble? Finally, I can lay this old burden to rest. Ask about the situation. Why don't you tell me what's going on here before I make my decision? You're right, there's more to the story than I've let on. So after the war had ended, we returned to the scorched wasteland of Tokyo and set up shop in Kamurocho's bustling black market. We bought up crappy rice from the sticks and started selling gruel. With barely enough food to go around as it was, we ended up making a fair bit of money. I bought, he sold. We combined our efforts and it eventually paid off. But I betrayed him in the end. Ran off with all our savings, the money we'd earned together. 
I started doing things the hard way, so I joined forces with the other dealers and bought a truck with the money I'd stolen. Could carry a lot of a lot in that old truck of mine. Veggies, meat, even people. While I was working away, my company grew and grew. Till suddenly it was a huge corporation. But I was always afraid. My company, my truck, my success. It all came down to the money I took from my partner. Didn't expect him to for, or I don't expect him to forgive me. I am just trying to make myself feel better. But all I want to do is tell him that I'm sorry. So this is your way of burying the hatchet, huh? Please, take me there. Take me to Jinsei so I can finally come clean. Alright, you've convinced me. Think you can uh. keep up? I'll do my damnedest. So this is it, hey? This is the old, uh. or this is the place. Takami, it's me. It's Zazen. Shintaro Zazen. Zazen? Huh? Zazen, it really is you, after all these uh. years. Forgive me, Tagami. I have to apologize for what okay. I've done. What are you talking about? Back when we were working on the black market, I... I stole the money we'd earned. Worse, I betrayed my friend. I know this won't make up for anything I've done, but... I've set aside 10 million yen for you. I want yeah. you to accept it. Wait just a second. I can't take that kind of money from you. Tagami, be reasonable now. Oh, then we'll gladly accept it on your behalf. Right, Tagami-san? <laughs> This is perfect. You owe us eight million as is, and once you tack on various fees, then we'll call it a cool ten mil. Tagami, you're in debt. You stay out of this. Enough bullshit. Pay up or else. You're out of pl uh, you're out of place, friend. Can you see these men are trying to have a conversation? Who the fuck you think we are? Sticking your nose where it don't belong. Uh, the fuck you think you are? Whatever. Doesn't matter. I'll beat him down. Bro, keep blocking. There we go. You could only take so much. <laughs> uh, what the hell, man? You're done for now. Just wait until these two finish talking uh. things through. Tagami, take this money, please. I can't keep going on like this. Yeah. My current debts have nothing to do with you. This is all for uh. my wife. It's cancer. She was in the hospital for surgery. Our treatment cost us, or all her treatment cost us a near fortune. That I worked so hard for so long. All I've ever wanted for us was to spend our last years together in peace. So that's so much to ask. But Tagami. In fact, your sticky fingers led me to my wife. I lost my money and had to sell the shop, as you know. Eventually, I wound up living and working in a sushi joint out here in Kamurocho. That's where I met her. I did hate you once upon a time, when I was younger. But why hold on to an old grudge? I'm content with the way things turned out. That might be all well and good for you, but not for me. Now I insist that you take the money. Hey, Collector, here, this is yours, all of it. Take it and never show your face here again. Yes, sir! You got it! Oh, thanks a million! No, make that ten million! Huh? Zizen, why on earth did you- Stop. I didn't give that money to you. I gave it to your wife. Out of pity for having to put up with a royal pain in the keister like yeah. you. It's still way too much money. Then what say my drinks are on the house from now on? Well, if that's what you want, then those drinks better be damn strong. Now go introduce you- er, Now go introduce yourself to my wife. That sounds like a fine idea. Can't thank you enough for all you've done. I would never have been able to talk to my old friend without your help. All I did was bring you here, nothing uh. more. <laughs> Living as long as I have, and you can er, and you can tell, you're a man of no ordinary caliber. Won't you tell me your name? Kiryu, Kazuma Kiryu. I thank you from the bottom of my heart, Kiryu-san. I'll never forget you, not as long as I live. 
Please accept this as a mere token of my gratitude. Now if you'll excuse me. Okay. Off to do what we almost do what we are meant to go do. She wasn't here prior. I hope he's not hiding something from me. But even if he is, what can I possibly do? Bartender, have a drink if you please. Very well, sir. Here you are, sir. Please enjoy. Um, would you happen to be curious on by any chance? That's me. Who's asking? Sorry to come up and talk to you so suddenly, but I'm Ryoko Sato. I heard about you from my husband. Your husband? Yes, in the past he used to work for a particular family. I'm sure you know what kind. Well, he was always going on and on about this amazing guy from Kamarocho. He showed me a picture in a magazine once, and that's how I recognized you. I see. What do you, so what do you want from me? My husband, he's... I think he's planning to murder someone. Please, you've got to help him somehow. Slow down a minute. What makes you think he wants to do that? Well, back when he married me, he was able to wash his hands of the business and work a normal job. He started working part-time at a restaurant, and we've been able to make ends meet with both of us bringing home a check. But late one night, I saw him, alone, with a knife, sharpening it in the shadows. He must have thought no one was watching. Not only that, but he's been making these secretive phone calls to someone I don't know. I'm thinking maybe it's one of his old associates, and that's who gave him the order. Come to think of it, I've been, or he's been doing a lot of strange things lately. We've been eating out a lot more. He buys me clothes. He keeps taking me on these trips. But we don't have that kind of money. None of it added up. And then it dawned on me. My husband must be working another job behind my back. That's the only explanation. He promised me on our wedding day that he'd never make me cry again. But how- er, but now he goes and does this? Maybe he's fooled into something against his will. There's no way for me to know that. But if he really is- er, if that really is true, I'd do anything to get him out of it. Oh- how could he forget our wedding vows? I thought he was a changed man. I'm begging you, Kiryu-san. Find out if my husband is up to something vile, and if he is, put a stop to it. You're the only one who can. Well... Alright. I suppose I could be of some help. What exactly is it that you want me to do? Oh, thank you. So my husband should be hitting the Mahjong parlor at about this time. Should be able to spot him immediately since he's usually covered head to toe in bright red sportswear. Man in red sportswear, okay. Now what I want you to do is find uh, where my husband keeps going uh, when he's done gambling. When you figure it out, will you give me a call? So all you want to know is where he's been shuffling off to. Okay, I think I can do that. <sighs> Thank you, truly. I don't know what else I can turn to at this point. The Mahjong Parlor, which is up here? No, no. That's the other place. Asia, it'd be... That's karaoke. Mahjong's all the way down. Okay. Still a little drunk, apparently. Okay. If I start getting bored of these, I'm gonna go back to the main. Ow. 
Oh, my bad. Okay. You expect me to pay for more booze with a freaking nail. Are you high? Somebody's coming down. Maybe it's the maybe it's the husband of that lady I spoke to at Batham. Can't believe I freaking lost again. She did not have any luck before work. It's covered in red sportswear, all right. That's got to be the guy I'm looking for. Time to see what he's up to. Yeah. Yay, a tailing mission. He likes to go jogging. This is gonna trigger the main storyline. <laughs> the sign of Rikia. Convenience store, that's pretty big to go by. We'll go to Tenkaichi. What could he be up to there? I'm sure his wife would like to know. It's Kiryu. Uh-huh. Right, near Smileburger. That's right. You recognize it when you get here, uh, there. Well, now what? Yeah. Hey, asshole. I know you've been following me, so just tell me what you want already. Hey, hold on. You got it all wrong. Yeah, that's what they all say. Well, too bad for you, because there's no way in hell you're dragging me back to that life. Fight you tooth and nail if I have to. Damn it all. Should have never set foot in Kamarocha to begin with. Knew I'd get dragged back in. Relax, I'm not here to drag you into anything. Huh? Wait a minute, don't Kiryu's tell me. You must be Kiryu-san. Well, I'm standing face to face with a legend. I used to be all uh, in the business too, you know. I heard all kind of crazy stories about you, man. You were like a god. Then you retired right after you, er, right after you were made fourth chairman of the Tojo clan. That actually what inspired me to leave the business myself. Well, that's all fine and good, but I need to know what you've been up to. Your wife's been worrying about you. She has? Hmm. Well, I guess there is one thing I haven't managed to tell her yet. Think you can keep a secret? You see, I was asked to be a chef at the restaurant I work part-time, so I started going to cooking school. The boss says I can get full-time if I get me a cook's license. To me, that's a golden opportunity. We've been, waiting, or we've been wanting to have some kids soon, so I figured having a proper salary was the best way to prepare. So you've been sneaking off to cooking school, is that it? Well, it ain't my invention to be sneaky. I mean, sure, the school my boss recommends is a run-down building with no sign out front, but the teacher there is world-class. Then what's with the late-night knife yeah. sharpening? Oh, you mean this thing? Ha! I've been using this to gut tuna. Guess it kind of looks like something you could use to shank another guy. Get the blood flowing, ha <laughs> Now I see how this is all coming together. Huh? What's coming together? And why is Ryoko all suspicious of me all of a sudden? I wonder about that lady sometimes. Well, she says you've been up to, uh, you've been a, a lot more well off in the money department than you should be. <laughs> oh, that? Well, I just happened to win a nice wad of cash at the mahjong table, so I stashed him away for special occasions. Man, that wife of mine's pretty sharp. <laughs> there you are. What are you doing? I wouldn't worry if I were you. Your husband's giving me an explanation for everything, and it all checks <laughs> out. Huh? What do you mean? You just gotta trust me, babe. I promise you I wasn't gonna make you cry. That was one of my wedding vows. Then you remembered. 
You remembered your promise. Of course I remembered, babe. You think I'd forget a thing like that? Uh, sorry, er, sorry for putting you through all this drama, Kiryu-san. Hope you take this for your troubles. Thank you for all your help. I feel like I can trust my husband so much more now. Well, I'd better get going. I'm not going to that. No sign of Rikia. Where are you, Anarchy? I'm not too f fond of this Rikia chase. Well, Rikia chase. Let's have to find somewhere else. Nakamichi Street. That's closer. I guess I'll go and do it. Oh boy. Seriously, game? Okay. Thank you for the 20,000. Yeah, that's close enough that I don't mind. You see what happens? You eat ramen? Uh, you see what happens? You eat the ramen, you damn well better pay for it! Oh god. What happened? That guy ran out without paying. Damn it, the owner makes that ramen with pride. I can't let him disrespect us like that! Okay, we'll go after the dining dasher again. You're really chasing my OU, don't really care about the money. The owner puts his heart and soul into that ramen. I can't let someone dine and dash on us. Please catch him! Yay. Oh my god, I expected him to take a right. Damn. Damn. I'm struggling to tell depth. I'm struggling to hit this guy. Gosh darn. Yeah, uh, you again. Or what's with you? I guess you never learn, huh? You're coming with me. I mean, 950 yen for the pork ramen you ate. But I don't think uh, we need your money. Instead, you're gonna wash our dishes until closing time. <laughs> you gotta be kidding! What if I pay ten times the price? You can let me go for 9,500 yen, yeah? right? Wait, you got uh -oh. that much? Please, seriously, your ramen is amazing. Would that be enough to make it up f to you? <sighs> well, for that much cash, how can I refuse? Just, if you had that much money, why didn't you pay in the first place? Why did I dine and dash? <laughs> <laughs> you should know by now. I did it because the food was yeah. there. What? You're not climbing Everest, you idiot. You don't just do it because it's Ooh. there. And you, you make a good rival. See you next time I go dashing. <laughs> ah. Thanks for catching that Dine and Dasher. He must be tired. Here, have a drink. <sighs> Sorry you got wrapped up in this now that Loon thinks you're his rival or something. Oh, good luck. Whoa. Wait. Ain't no way there's another thing here. Okay. 
inside the store this time. You don't say much. Welcome, welcome. It's good to see you again. Mm, looks like you got a full house day. My employee's wife went into labor and he had to rush to the hospital. Of course I'd be there with them, but look at these customers. And I'm all alone here. Anyway, what can I get you? I see. We'll help him out. Why don't I help you out? Really? You sure about that? Yeah, sure. It's the least I can do for all the great ramen I've eaten here. What should I do? Can you take orders from the customers for me? Just tell me what types of ramen each customer wants in the order they asked for it. Make sure not to mix up customer orders and the types of ramen each person wants. Alright, I'll give it a shot. Okay. Oh, boy. Let's see, Taku, large Kyoshi. Oh, no. Double stewed pork. Let's see the first guy asked for. Um, I'm not even going to read these. The second guy wanted. I am definitely getting all these oh. wrong. Oi. Uh. But you sure help me get through the day. Okay. Oopsies. Looks like I'm done here now. Here's your full payment. Don't be... That's fine. I did a very poor job of that one. I wasn't ready. Maybe if I was more familiar with ramens, that would stick in my head, but I don't know the difference between them. Leave me alone. Freaking Rikia. Getting tired of waiting. Show you street. After me, right. I don't care. He's not here. No, I'm not blowing you off. Hey, what do you think you're doing? You think you can just waltz out of here like that? What? I mean, shoplifting at your age, you should be ashamed of yourself. Think you're making a mistake, I haven't taken anything at all. Yeah, that's what they all say. Why don't you save us both the trouble and hand over the goods? Well, still think I'm a shoplifter? No, no I don't. Sorry to have put you through all that. Well, the part-timers must have made a mistake. Regardless, there's no excuse to be embarrassing a valued customer. Here, please take this along with our sincerest apologies. Don't be so quick to judge next time. Try, sir, but you must understand that shoplifting's been absolutely out of control lately. Even with our high-tech security cameras, the thieves are getting away. Hey, Anna Froggen, what's up? Sometimes it's makeup, other times it's the latest toy or gadget. They're practically robbing us blind, and I simply refuse to tolerate it any further. Yes, I am. Sounds like you have it pretty rough. Really hate to ask this, especially after what just happened, but would you mind catching some of those morons on our behalf? Oh, uh, why would you ask me? Well, those hooligans are already familiar with my staff and security, but if a stranger like you were to do a stakeout, they'd never suspect a thing. Now please, you've got to help us out somehow. Be willing to give you compensation, of course. You could earn part-time wages just standing around. So you want me to do undercover security. How's your day, Benyana Froggen? I could do that, as long as it's just staking out the area. If anything, I'm cut out for this type of job. They're going to remove de-pipping? Interesting. Oh, you serious? 
Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Come on inside and I'll fill you in on the details. This aisle gets hit pretty often. What with all the magazines, makeup, and other expensive stuff. Really? Even though it's out in the open like this? Well, at this angle, it's pretty hard to see from the registers. Plus, makeup is so small that it's easy to steal no matter where it is. Guess it's popular to sell to friends and such. People really do that? Sheesh. What is this world coming to? It's good to hear you've been doing good. Anyway, I need you to keep watch right here. And if you see anyone suspicious, confront them before they leave the store. Think you can do that? Huh? Oh, nice. That's always nice. Yeah, if I see somebody trying to pull something, I'll get up in their face. No problem. That's what I'm talking about. There's a lot of sh uh, there's a lot of ship shoplifting at this time of day, so I'm sure you'll find someone if you watch closely enough. Now go get these bastards! All right, I'll see what I can do. Yeah, but that's a mistake on their end. Not really your fault. Uh, I don't know why you apologized. I've been doing all right. Well, you know when time's up. Good luck. Okay, so there are three customers here. Young girl looking at the makeup, young guy looking at manga, and a businessman looking at the bento boxes. One of these people could very well be a shoplifter. Convenience stores do sell pretty decent makeup after all. How er, so decent makeup after all. How wonderful. Oi, hold up a second. She just pocketed that. Hold up. Hold it right there, Missy. I don't believe you paid for that. What? You think I'm a shoplifter or something? I bet you just want to feel me up, you disgusting creep. I'd rather feel up the merchandise you took. Now let's see it. So, did you find whatever I shoplifted? No. Looks like I made a mistake. I'm sorry to have bothered you. Get a life, you perv. Jeez. Guess I blew that one. Sweet. They got the new issue I'm looking for. Okay, that was definitely he pocketed it. Hold it right there, Buster. I don't believe you paid for that. What? Empty your pockets. Let's see what you got. Oh, shit. Aha, what's this? I haven't seen you pay for that yet. I um, was just about to take it to the register. Yeah. Oh no, I didn't feel like you were venting. Besides, I don't mind. Um, tell me, uh, tell me about it in the office, or you could tell me that, or tell it to the police if you prefer. Well, I just, I, uh, fuck. Bingo, looks like we caught him red-handed. Say, would you mind keeping an eye a little bit longer, you know, in case anyone else managed to slip through the cracks while I'm occupied? Alright, I'll stay my post a little longer. So sick of these bento lunches. Okay, he pocketed that too. Yeah, no, today was going to be a long stream since I haven't really streamed in a while. Hold it right there, mister. I don't believe you paid for that. Excuse me, I don't have anything on me. You won't be trying to shoplift or anything, would you? What a rude accusation. I've been lying lunches here for a while now, but maybe I'll take my business elsewhere. Fine, but before you do that, cough up while you took all of it. There, are you satisfied? No, it looks like I made a mistake. I'm very sorry to have bothered. You can't tell me he didn't pocket something there. Okay, guess I blew that one. Oopsies. I really appreciate all this you've given me. Can't believe you found a criminal in such a short time. You've been great help. Guess I have a knack for finding people like that. But you also accused someone else of shoplifting you, though they didn't take anything at all. I'd rather not make our honest paying customers feel uncomfortable, you know. Sorry about that. In any case, here's your day's pay. I did a very poor job on that. I swear to God, it looked like they were freaking pocketing it. Tell me I'm wrong. I stopped everyone because they looked like they pocketed it. They did a freaking animation. That's not on me. You watched it too. Don't tell me it didn't look like they pocketed people. Or pocketed people, pocketed things. 
I literally only did it because it looked like they stuffed something in their thing. Okay, but people don't randomly stuff their freaking arms into their pockets for no reason. Especially after looking around and seeing nobody's looking at them. You do that all the time. I would stop you in real life if that's the case. <laughs> oh, you know what? That's fair. He's not here either. I could have sw Where the heck is he? Doesn't mean you don't have pockets. Hello. Anarchy, it's Rikia. Where the heck are you? I've looked all over town. Look, there's some serious shit going down here, Anarchy. Those creepos are trying to nab some lady in a park. I'll be there soon. Just don't do anything to- I'm not gonna sit around and let him snatch this girl. I'm going in, Anarchy. Rash. That's fair. I probably shouldn't have accused the woman because she probably didn't have a pocket. But the other guy with the bento box thing that was complaining about the lunch, you can't tell me it didn't look like he did that. Oh, boy. Kiryu-san, hope you're swinging through the jungle of life like a monkey hop, uh, hopped up on banana juice. Anyway, I just got word that the bowling alley in Kamurocho's hotspot for weird shit. I don't know if there's a grain of truth to that, but you might want to go take a peek. BT dubs, I've been learning a ton of Japanese from this DVD I picked up the other day. I had no idea you could use tentacles for that. That's fair. I didn't even think about that. That's possible. That's batting. That's club mothball. And makeup small, you probably could hide it rather easily. At least I'd wager you could. Excuse me. Can find me later. There's something I need to do at the bowling alley. Uh, someone who works at Walmart. I see. Yeah, that's what I figured. Wait, 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 wait. I think I see who I need to to do the the revelation for. I'm not surprised sex toys are stolen. <laughs> That's also very not surprising. Um, never underestimate the power of inertia. That's not it. Oh wait, never mind. It might have been. Nope. It wasn't. Damn. I need to walk out and walk back in to trigger it again. We'll get a revelation. Don't worry about it. He's gonna yeet himself again.
I am unfamiliar with that game. If it's a horror game, then then uh, it sh will be reserved for October. I don't do any. Oh, that's cool. I don't do any horror games uh, until October rolls around. Another revelation. There's nothing quite as satisfying as getting a strike in bowling, but this guy took it a little too far. Still, it did give me a good uh, an idea for a new move. Guess I should thank him. What type of game is that's not my neighbor? Uh, Oh boy. Someone who wishes to get beat up, huh? enough fight あ、ありしてんだろ。そろんなこっちは出せ。こっちは急いでんだよ。あ、あんだ、お前。ありき。目立つぜ。こんな場所でデケ声出してるとな。それがどうしたお前に関係ねえだろうがそのはいこいつら無理やりラチロートしたんだと言っているがだからそれがなんでってんだ文具でもあんのかおら何やってんだ Ah. ah, so you're from the Nishikiyama family, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Damn right we are. Well, these big britches of yours feeling a little tighter now? Not exactly. You guys are just small-time street thugs. Where what? Nice work, Rikia. Uh, what do you mean, Anaki? These are just the guys I was looking right. for. What are you two babbling about over there, huh? I'll explain later, Rikia. There's a fly buzzing in my ear that I'd really like to swat. Let me help, at least. I'm the one they're messing with in the first place, you know? By and by me. The more the merrier. You think you're hot shit, scumball? <sighs> you bottom rungers never change, do ya? What was that? All you do is hide behind your family crest like it's some kind of shield, but it's not. You're not tough. You're small. Oh yeah? I'm bigger than you, fuckface! Then prove it. Ow. Ow. I whiffed. Ow. 
Oh, I missed. Guess the Nishikiyama family crust is too heavy for you after all. <laughs> the hell were you thinking trying to kidnap this girl? What happened to Yakuza having pride, huh? Look, it's not what you're thinking. Our boss just sent us out on the prowl for the biggest girl we could find in. What do you mean, big? This girl's tiny. That aside, what was Kanda planning to do to her? Well, uh, he needed the girl for his uh. hobby. You calling sexual harassment a hobby? The fuck is wrong with you? Please, just hear me out. The boss got this weird fetish. She, he has us drag girls back to the office so he can massage them. It's nothing more than that, I promise. Is this some kind of joke? No, it's totally for real. The boss loves nothing more than massaging a nice big woman. The thicker the better. You believe in this garbage anarchy? What does Kanda get out of that? I don't know, aroused? I get kind of sick if I dwell on it too much, but I bet he loves hearing him moan while he does it. Our only job is finding girls big enough to handle his massive meaty hands. Uh, and that's why you were trying to kidnap her? Yeah, that's it, I swear. Nothing is salty about it, I promise. You realize that's still assault, right? Anyway, what do you think, Anaki? Should we believe him? Hard to say, but I doubt anyone would make up such an embarrassing story. Especially about their own boss. We're just following orders. Honest. Truth is, just thinking of the boss and his hubby makes me want to hurl to high heavens. But if he says we get a girl, we get a girl. All right, we'll let you go this time. Whoa, you mean it? Under one condition. Tell us where Kanda is. What are you going to do to him? That's none of your business. Ugh. Now come on, we're in a hurry here. All right, all right. He's in the hotel district. Little place called Red Brick. Right. So, if I'm getting this right, he asked you to haul a girl over to the love hotel so he could massage her. That's about the thick of it. Sounds like your boss was real happy about something, too. Or sounds like the boss was so uh, really happy about something, too. Guess things are going good. That's why he's going all out today for a hotel room instead of bringing him to the office like normal. What room is he in? It's, uh, 403. Got it. 403 in the, uh, at the Red Brick Hotel. And you're sure that's right? Yep. Then go. We're done with you. Hey, you okay? I think so, thanks. If you hadn't come when you did, I would have been in for a pretty rough massage. Though, you know, my shoulders have actually been kind of sore lately. Maybe I should have gone with them. <laughs> Uh, anyway, thanks. I really appreciate you stepping in when you did. No, it was nothing. Any guy would have done the same. I'm not sure about that. By the way, um, could I have your contact info? I was thinking maybe I could pay you back later if that's alright. Oh, uh, you don't gotta do that, ma'am. Uh, be glad to- or be glad to give you my name, though. It's Rikia. We need to get moving here. Hey, wait a second, Anaki. Sorry, guess I gotta run. Keep yourself safe, you hear? Anaki, wait up! Kanda's at the Red Brick Hotel, room 403. We've got to get in there before he leaves. All right, Rikia, next stop is the Red Brick to find Kanda. I'm hoping you'll be willing to talk, but we need to be ready for anything in there. Sounds like he doesn't like me very much. Okay, Anaki. Anaki! I can upgrade abilities. Um... Increase the power of throws. I'm gonna do this for more health. Yeah, that sounds good. And we should... No, there's not a restaurant over along the way. Okay. If you want to fight... Yeah. 
just upgraded the power of my throws. Oh, my bad. I whiffed again. Okay, there we go. Set him up to knock him down. Thank you. Still a little drunk, apparently, but that's all right. Are you going to stop yelling anarchy? Anarchy. This is it, Hanaki. Let's get inside. Right. By the way, what'd this Kanda guy do anyway? A few hours ago, someone shot up the Kazuma family office and murdered Kashiwagi son, the captain of the Tojo clan. What? But before he breathed his last words, Kashiwagi san had something to tell me. There's a traitor in the Tojo clan. More likely than not, Kanda is that traitor. Oh. This is no time to talk, though. Come on. I really don't think he is. Right behind you, Hanaki. ちょっと Yeah, I already know what the thought is. Kiryu's not having it, apparently. はい。カップルじゃなきゃダメなんですよね。そうですよ。いや、私と兄貴はラブラブなカップルだから問題ないでしょ。おい。普段はカッコつけてるけど、たまにはイチャイチャしたいのよ。ああ。あんたたちそう
go. Leave downstairs to me, Hanaki. You go to see if he went up. All right, stay safe, Rikia. Got us in a room with the light on the outside. Press A in front of the door to kick it open. Anything could happen if you open the wrong one. Okay. We're gonna check this one first. Oh! My bad, fellas. My bad, fellas. What? Guess we're going up. He went down. Damn it, where'd he run off to now? Oh, hello, fellas. Can I do the thing? Hold up. Ring, 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 ring. Okay, I suppose. Give me a second here. You know, I've been holding off some story stuff waiting for you. I cannot hear you. You're quiet. Is that better? That is better. Oh, right. uh, I said, is that so? Yes. I've been monitoring your stream, Hold seeing up. if you're doing story stuff. <laughs> <laughs> if no, you're doing I'm a side quest, I tab out. Um. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Don't crash. Don't crash. Please don't crash. Anything but crashing, please. I need to turn Fingers it down. Fingers crossed. Because now you're a little bit loud. There we go. My stream's still streaming, right? Because it did the breaking thing when I all tabbed. It's still streaming. If you want Good. a screenshot, I can give it to you. But... Please. Yeah, I was kind of sitting there, it's like, I'll do some side content, and then I was like, eh, I don't really want to push forward in main content until James gets here. Uh. How dare you. What do you mean? Uh. Where the hell could he be? This is a sequence that has the gif I was going to send you in it. I see. I actually am carrying weapons on me, even though I don't really intend to use them. I'm gonna get jumped again. How could you ever have known? <laughs> Just felt it was pretty obvious. Think? 
Oh. He looks like she, he looks like he could be her granddad. I'm not gonna judge, but I ain't gonna. I ain't sticking around. There we go. It's the last one I checked. I like how he's just like, I swear to God, I'm gonna, gotta keep getting after him. I like how he was sitting there. It's like. I'm gonna fucking kill Kiryu! Kiryu shows up! He's gonna skin me alive! Yeah. He just didn't like being caught with his hands down. Ow. Don't mind me. Ow. I have done a lot of side stories, though. Oh, boy. I did not move far enough away. That's on me. Damn! I always save my heat actions for those guys. Yeah, that might have been helpful. Hold up. This is gonna take too long. Fuck that. <laughs> no couch. I've already busted all of these. I could also use my shotgun if I really wanted to. I do have one of those. Use your shotgun. I'm gonna bust down every door in this joint. Yes, you will. I've been jumped! Who could have seen this happening? I feel bad for the hotel. She's into it. They're both into it, but... Oh, boy. Time to button mash. God, I still... it feels like just yesterday I did this bit. <laughs> But it wasn't just yesterday, it was March 27th. It was three, three weeks ago. <laughs> so were you waiting for me to do more story content stuff? No, the reason I wasn't uh, online in Discord was just because, I mean, I was online in Discord, but I wasn't talking to anyone. It was just because mm. I, I was putting all of my focus into organizing some stuff on my computer. I see, I see. I did not, in fact, kick every door open. Just most of them. Yeah, I was about to skip a sub-story up until, uh, what's his name, gave me the runaround at the stores. <laughs> Didn't you love it? I'm blanking on his name. I like him, but... That's gotta hurt. ゆっくり話すわけにはいかないようだな。仕方ね。力ずくで話聞かせてもらうぜ。仕事じゃ。俺と差しの勝負したこと公開させてくれ。I have no problem beating on him. He's a sex pest. Yeah.
Yeah, I didn't think so. That's bad. Boy! Oh, shit. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Damn! I lost the drool! <laughs> really? 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 This is how it's- this fight. That fucking sucked! I hated this fight, because he just picks stuff up and then stuns you and combos you with him. That's all he does. Okay, I can't iframe through that. God damn. Damn. Dropkick! Damn it! <laughs> Ugh! Okay. That is... I need to move. Your health ain't looking so good. I'm well aware. <laughs> I don't have that many healing items on me either. Okay, buddy. Need him to break it. Son of a bitch. You done? Gosh darn it! What an annoying fight! He is strong though, hold up! The game wasn't registering my A. That was scary. So now I need him to break this too. Come on, throw stuff. Damn. That didn't work either. I chose a bad time to do that. Get down in the pool. Yeah. Oh boy, he's running again. Bitch! Damn, that's on me. Uh, the animation didn't finish. We're back to this again, though. The game did it again. Is that meant to be like that? That's how it always was for me. That's on me. I did not block that. Oh, that's not blockable. Good to know. Good. I can finally feel the heat. <laughs> Knockdown, baby! 
I finally have another. Oh, yes! That was worth picking up. Okay. Damn. My out's not looking that good. Hold up. That's just heat. Now that he doesn't have jet. Oh, oh! There it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's the gift. <laughs> I suppose it had to happen. We got some dominatrix shit happening here. <laughs> oh! I don't think he was the traitor. I've made my statement. I don't know if you're here for it. I think Mine is. Huh? I didn't we'll see how wrong or right I am. Right? I'm not surprised that he would off the captain. I don't think he's the traitor, though. I think there's two traitors. Which is fair because my gut was telling me that both of them were a problem. Excuse me. The traitor is actually Majima. He just wanted to fight. <laughs> カンダですか。ああ。こいつ。もっと問い詰めなくていいんすか。今回の一件。こんな単純なやつがかけるようなもんじゃない。ノ、ヒーズ俺が絶対に何とかする。だから悪いことは言わない。今のうちに沖縄。嫌です。力也。自分は絶対に中原の親父を撃った男を殺せで敵を取りたいんです。お願いします、兄貴。自分を東京に居させてください。お願いします。わ
Uh, but you think we can grab some grub first? Fighting's always put a hole in my stomach like none other. Heh, <laughs> sure. You have anything in mind? Heck yeah, I do! Yakuniku! Sure you don't want something a little more local? You can get Yakuniku whenever you want down in Okinawa. <laughs> well, yeah, but there's one, uh, there's this one Korean joint I've been dying to go to. It's the one they always show on the tube, where all the celebrities hang out and stuff their faces. I heard people even saw the Korean megastar, uh, Il Yu, uh, Il Jin chilling there a few years back. That does sound familiar. I'm not sure if it's the same place, but I have a restaurant in mind. Let's go. You're the best, Anaki! Depending on what this is. Yeah, I'm doing all of these, though, period. <laughs> Hello, Kiryu-san. Let me cut to the chase. I got another shot for you. Uh, there's this rock and soba joint in the southeast part of Kamarocho, but the owner's totally bonkers. Apparently, his noodles suffer for it. Anyways, keep your eyeballs trained on the owner, and, you, there's, er, and your chance will come in no time flat. Probably when he hops on his bike, if I had to guess. Uh, there's a soba joint. So I need to head towards the soba joint. Which, if I recall, is somewhere down south. It's not... Is it? It's not the Kyoshi, right? Do you happen to know where this one is? No, I have no idea. Hmm. By the way, you can get them wrong and redo them. Okay. Just so you're aware. A soba joint. We'll go to the Kyoshi number one star first. Oh wait, I still need to upgrade stuff. One thing I can upgrade. Soul, which I have no problem upgrading that. Block attacks with the spirit gauge. This probably would have been helpful in that fight. <laughs> Become even more difficult to knock down. That's all right. Uh, that would be useful. Tap A as fast as possible. That would be useful. Um, and this would also probably be useful. None of these are bad. Unlike some of the previous upgrades in some of the previous games, I haven't felt like there's been upgrades that were, like, absolutely trash to get. You know what I mean? Like, you only bought to further go down another tree. You know what I'm talking about? Sorry, say what? I said I haven't I felt I like any of the upgrades have been bad. Like, in some of the previous games, there's been times where it's just like, I've upgraded things just to go further down a tree, but didn't necessarily want that ability. Haven't sure. had that yet. <clears throat> uh, I need to cross. Oh? Nope. Don't feel like talking. Actually, I should hit the coin locker. I think I have a couple more. Stop yelling, Anaki, please. Glad I got a charismatic photo. What? Oh, boy. Oh, my bad. I really am getting tired of comfy souls. What a freaking waste. Give me a freaking multi-purpose thumbtack. But stop giving me souls. Oh, boy. James, you made a comparison to Pokemon before. I'm starting to feel that. Oh, that wasn't what I wanted. Ow. I'm getting really annoyed. Hold up. 
That wasn't what I. That wasn't the heat action I meant. But okay. I did not get out of the way. Okay. Plus in 5,000 yen. That's, a, that's getting to the point where that's about all I read, by the way. Is the reward, because I find it funny. Where, is this in Kamarocho? Uh, yeah, and oh, it's in the southeast part of Kamarocho, hold up. A soba shop. It's not that. I did a horrible job of 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 some of this stuff. Hold up. This is the only place I can think of. It sells noodles, but this ain't it. I want to do this, James, but I have no clue where this noodle shop is. It's in the southeast part. It's not Smile Burger. Could it be... Ain't no way that counts, right? Hold up. No, 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 that's not. Will you be quiet? Couldn't be here, right? No. James, I really want to find this. <clears throat> Indeed. Will you stop shouting in my ear? Rock and Soba joined the southeast part of Kamarocho, but the owner's totally bonkers. Something about a bike, too. Let me go see if Katie is still here. Or Kaidi, or however it's pronounced. She's no longer here. That's a problem for future me. I have an idea. What if it's not an actual place we can go to? But there are tons of bikes here. You know what I mean? <laughs> so is it possible that this is the man? No, it can't be. Not with the sign he's holding. It would appear I was wrong. Oh. I'm gonna commit terrible. You're gonna commit terrible, and what is that? We'll play a cruise of five. How's that commit terrible? It's what I'm gonna do when you cruise of five. It's terrible. <laughs> yeah. I'll be honest, James. The chase mechanic's getting a little bit old. Like, I thought it was fun at first, but I'm getting a little bit tired of it at this point. I have absolutely no idea, and I'm tempted to look this up. I don't feel like running the town looking for it. I found something I wasn't looking for, though. But I really don't know where the soba joint is. I 
Okay. You know what, James? Looking it up. I got a bunch of terrible pictures uh, the other day. What do you mean? And by terrible pictures, I don't mean bad. They're they're terrible. I, uh, I, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna send one of them to you. Uh, look at it once this stream is over. Certainly though. not urgent. It's just I have a bunch of stupid images like this, and I think it's hilarious. Who's a f opening? Open it open. Really, who's I freaking was right. It's by Pink Street. If I recall, Pink Street is. Too far north to be southeast. And it says... Admit something awful. Should I? Uh, um... Like the third or fourth street up. So one, two, ain't no way. This is a pain. No, don't you dare fight me. I'm done with you. Actually, it might be easier just to see him. Hold up. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be the end. I can quit after this. Okay. At the end of Senrio Avenue. Okay. Which should be... Here. Ooh. Ooh. I have to be right back. No! Good luck. I didn't want to fight, I just want to get this thing. See, that's how I feel throughout all of five. Especially one fight I had where I finished the fight and while they were saying, sorry, won't we'll bother you again, I got sent straight into another. Yeah, you told me about that one. Me off. Gosh darn it. I will be right back. Okay. We're just gonna punish him for that one. Get me turned around like that too. It's down here probably. This has got to be it. Oh, yes.
Uh, waste of the power of that amazing landing. King King. That's not it, is it? Damn it! It's fine, we'll leave and come back. I'll get another shot. Ah, let me s Do you buy yes, things? No. No, you do not. Okay. I'll go ahead and say the scooter crash on him flying. This isn't it either, I don't think. Yeah. Okay. Back to try it again. And been holding on to that soba. There we go. Oh, I see. Another revelation. A soba shop delivery man was riding his bike with a stack of noodle boxes in his hands. I had a feeling something would happen, but what followed was beyond my wildest dreams. Give me an idea to use enemies' weapons against them. <sighs> the essence of self-destruction. That would have been useful earlier. Uh, that guy's gonna wanna fight. You bastard. Smash! 
Okay. No. I'm now slightly hurt. Oh? So this is the place? One if there are any stars in there. Get enough in one room and you get a whole damn constellation. Guess we won't know until we go in. Come on. Yeah. Hmm. I don't see any celebrities. Hell, there aren't even any other people in here. Hey, you can't expect to be packed all the time. Come on, let's order. It's my treat, so get whatever you want. <laughs> Whoa, really? Thanks a ton, Anaki. All right, let's go with two beers, some kalbi, some sirloin, and an order of salted tongue and a plate of tripe, and, oh, some, uh, Iberco pork while you're at it. Uh, Rikia? Oh, yeah, and make, uh, all that a double portion for me and my Anaki here. Then I'll have all the, or then I'll have a kimchi combo and a kalbi soup on top of that, and some nice chili noodles for dessert. You want some soup too, Anaki? I don't think my stomach can fit all that. By the way, Anaki, I was strolling around town for a while before we met up. Sure are a lot of interesting folks here in Kamurocho, huh? Weirdos, businessmen, schoolgirls. Yeah, you could just spend an entire year people watching and never run out of new subjects. Makes you wonder how their lives all led up to this point, converging mm. in the city. Totally. Wonder if I can t find what I'm after here. What are you talking about? Come on, Anaki. We talked about this right after you beat my or beat the human stuffing out of me. I'm looking for a guy to finish my viper tattoo, right? Right, sorry. Your other tattoo artist died before he could finish it, uh, didn't he? Mm-hmm. I don't trust my viper to anyone who doesn't get the spirit of what Okinawa's all about. But I'm kind of starting to think someone here might have what it takes. Guys who lived in Komorocho have seen all sorts of people come and go. Even if they're not from Okinawa, I bet he could get what I'm going for. What do you think, Anaki? Well, I might just know someone who can help. For real? Can we go see him? If we got the time, I mean. Sure, why not? But let's do some sightseeing first. All we've done so far is sit in this restaurant. Totally, let's get a move on. <laughs> Man, Anaki, that was like a party in my mouth. I guess you could put it that way. Total comes out to 65,000 yen, sir. Thanks a lot, Anaki. Of course. When I got to this side story, or not side story, when I got to this part, I said that dinner was on me, but I only had, I think, like 45,000. <laughs> and well, so he, wrong. Now he what? covered the difference. I see. And I was left without money. I see. Guess I could go mm. hang out with Rikyo some more. Rico, you have anything so else you want to go? You bet I do. I've heard some amazing things about a shop, or about the shop Don Quixote. They say the theme song will stick in your head for days. We don't have them down in Okinawa, though. Don Quixote, huh? That should be easy enough. They're open 24 hours a day, right, Anaki? Yep, Kamurocho's the city that never sleeps, after all. Wait, then do the other Don Quixote's close like regular stores? That's right, this one has special hours because of where it is. Huh? Cool shit! Anyway, let's get moving! Yeah. 
Oh, you're gonna have boy. to disappear for a bit. You're gonna have to oh. disappear for a bit? Oh boy. Yeah. I was about to say, I'm gonna end my stream here. Uh, chapters. I was gonna try and finish this chapter, but these street fights are, are rather numerous. Yeah. You still up? But I do have to go. You have to go? Yeah. Uh, I did want to talk about something, though. Maybe you could just right. wait for me to get to a save point. Yeah. I found that, that ping-ponging people like that's a quick way to get rid of a solo guy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I have a feeling there's two traitors, but my main thing is on Mike being the 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 main the main guy. I know he swore to Daigo, but honestly, that's the reason I trust him the least. You know? Yeah. Plus, if I remember, he's the business savvy dude. Anywho, I will see everybody next time. Uh, bye bye.